for good. Well, you're the most dangerous. <laughs> so what is the night story, Gray? He says, ah, my friends, I thank you for your aid. Uh, I'm Herman Els. Elmer. Sorry. <coughs> um, Got a bit of a cough, you see. Yeah, it's, def- it's, just, right. it's the smell of the orcs, you know, gets in the back of your throat. Um, I'm also hay fever. Yeah, in the scrub plant. Um, I am more than willing to, to explain my past, but it's just late. Yeah, it, it actually is getting late. I suggest we make camp, and then we can talk more carefully. Uh, mm-hmm. Carefully? Mm-hmm. Easily. This is a bit. This is probably not the. Best, this is probably the best of place. I mean, there, there. We already know there's no orcs here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, but there's rocking orcs. They're just gonna start smelling and probably attract them. Uh, you know, we'll start where? smelling. Well, here's we'll a question: like, smelling yeah. ripe. We'll just push them off the edge Again, of the map. Again, start fine. smelling. Okay. Okay. I get your. Point. Yeah. Um. So he'll kind of like rein his horse up outside, and you'll all kind of get your camping gear out. Um, get a fire going, and he'll start uh, talking. So, um, I am honoured to be an emissary for Joseph Lagrange. I've been sent south towards um, Creek's Wall to see if we can bring our people together. You know, humans must fight together against this orcish horde, as you can see. Um, hmm. so. What the cause? Likely blessed by Sigma. Yeah, my master, you know, wishes to see if he can get this um, so-called bandit king on side. If we can. Okay, Vim, Vim, before you go any further, I'm just going to preemptively clasp a hand over Jerry, over Jerry's shoulder, to make it entirely clear that if Jerry says the wrong thing, he's not going to have a shoulder for much longer. <laughs> You're doing that over the dwarf, who's probably clasping you by the by, by the kneecap on the. With and the then will attention. be standing behind Herman, very menacingly pointing his bow at Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like a band of good friends. <laughs> yes, we, uh, we. It's so physically and emotionally. I, I don't know what you guys were talking about. My wife, Beth. My ex-wife, Beth. Uh, okay. The ox? Yes. What? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> the oh, ox is named Beth. Oh, oh if you look... Don't look in the. Mar- if you look in the cart, much. if you look in the cart, we have a giant rat too. Don't ask too many questions. <laughs> giant um, rats pulling our second part. That, that, oh, that's yeah, amazing. I didn't know that rats could become so big. Yeah, he's a he's a dwarvish mountain rat. Uh, uh, so nothing to do with Skaven <laughs> at all. What's a Skaven? Uh, you, you could have you could have mentioned like you know rodents of unusual size. You just don't believe they exist. Yeah, okay, okay. Now now I do believe they exist. I'm seeing one. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Right. Um, yeah, Rams will say tonight. Uh, we we're just traveling, looking looking for work in general. We've oh. come down from from the north, just to just to look for new lands. You seem to be capable of adventurous. Uh, maybe my lord could give you some work. Hmm. To be clear, Lagrange, right? Yes, yes, the the great the Herman uh, Joseph Lagrange. I haven't heard too much about him. Um, would you mind sharing his story? Oh yeah. yes, he was of, until near he was um second in command, but the man was getting old. Uh, his judgment wasn't as sound as it should be. Uh, so he and several of his officers decided to take the bulk of his unit and you know, claim a good amount of land for themselves. Unfortunately, Van Dieb was able to secure the Silver Mountain and a couple of the smaller settlements. Uh, no. And with that, like a large co- po- um, amount of the um, coin of the area. Uh, so now, with the Orcs being a massive threat, the garage was trying to band the um, the other king, petty kingdoms here together so we could defeat the Warg. Uh Unfortunately, Sir Magnodorf Magno- is less than friendly. Van Nieb is a bitter old man, so we're having to turn to the old, the bandit king. He at least has and you- men and like, a need. He's on the front line. But do you think the bandit king would be interested in banding together? <sighs> We do not know. The, bandit, unless you ask the bandit king is already on the frontier. He's probably already yeah. fighting the orcs, regardless. 
Unless he has made an unholy alliance to preserve his lands. A fair point. Yes, we we think he will need the aid, and together we should be able to deal with the other humans. And um, the other orcs, you mean? No, the other well, humans. Well, we need we need to uh, provide a united front, so we need to get everyone else on side. Once uh, these two, yeah, you know, the two largest air nations in the area, uh, I'm calling them nations. They're like, you know, I'm being yeah, polite. Yeah. Um, States. <laughs> Folding. Sorry, these hawks still stink. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, once once we've got that, we should be able to easily take out the humans, unite the area, and then, you know, get as many people fighting the orcs as possible. Hmm. But as I say, I am I am authorized to recruit anyone I can. Um, you look like you would be good in a fight, and my lord is interested, of course, in you know getting as many good people on side as possible. Mm-hmm. Well, we will definitely be travelling to as far as Krieg's Wall. Um, from there we will have a look at what other opportunities are available, but we will t- certainly consider your offer. Mm-hmm. It is a good offer, yes. Sam, so, just, just out of interest, I heard mm-hmm. that you um, you mentioned your companion here who seems to be um, in desperate need of support. Yes. Yes, that's the, yes. He mentions a silver mine. Have you had dealings with Van Neep? They we, we stopped we, there. We we, we 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 passed through Silver Mountain, yes. We oh. had we, we we didn't know anything of who controlled the, the area. We we are simple mercenaries. Just looking for a uh, who's drawing on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we we are just simple mercenaries traveling uh, traveling through the land seeking help. Uh, the concerns of who owns what is beyond us. You you did they mention had a small, you did mention you. Yeah, sorry. Come on, Mister Jerry. Um, sorry. They had a small job dealing with beastmen that fed us for about a day and a bit, and we left after we were wounds were healed. Mm-hmm. Um. Right. I'm trying to think of the skill for like, for to take bullshit. Well, yeah, um, or for use okay, of misperception so, test. I mean, why would he probably charm ver or? I think probably gossip. Be charm it's versus, probably gossip. Yeah, I'm actually going to say yeah, it's probably going to be think, gossip. I think gossip is the way you tell what is bullshit and what isn't. Give me a second. Uh, yeah. So charm versus gossip? Uh, Are you charming well, him? Gossip. Gather information. I'm not trying. I mean, he has no real reason to be like... That is That is a pretty decent line. Like, yeah, we were there. We did a job. We left for how we were we fed. We ate no to... It'd be really weird to just presume that mercenaries suddenly, like, have, like, really good relationship with, you know, ahead of mm-hmm. a uh, area. You can also see we're relatively poor. I mean, it's not like we're like a bunch of like knights riding around saying, "Oh no, we're just peasants." <laughs> we're actual I mean, peasants riding around. We have a saying, Jerry with them. Look at this guy. They can't okay. be worth much if they have this guy so, with me. So, uh, so charm is your basic one for lie. Is it for lying or trying to get somebody to do what they want? Uh, convincing others to do something against their nature allows a willpower test to resist. So yeah, realistically, this would be a charm test with possibly a modifier based off of his yeah his suspicions and such. So if that's the case, we're boned. Well, I don't even know I'm going to give you a plus um, a plus ten to this because you my know, charm is boned. only ten. He's, he's suspicious. Mine is seventeen. We're boned. <laughs> I have a charm of thirty-nine. Okay, obviously, yeah, Zebra's going to be handling that one. Hmm. And just in case that doesn't handle it, Amendel is going to be behind this knight. Maybe that's why he's suspicious. <laughs> that, like, we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, the higher thing, you're just, you're like, you know, you're, you're, you're putting me under, like, multiple different, you know, like, manhandling me, all this kind of stuff, kind of suspicious. Like, I know something or some shit. Alright, so charm? Charm. 
Yeah. Just base plus or? Ten, plus 10. Plus 10. Hmm, to go east is not bad. Ooh. Haste. Now we have to get past the Sigmarite's uh, willpower to, you know, oh, there we go. Don't worry. He doesn't give a yet. shit. We, we're just we're just people on the road. Yeah. We we just we just another band. We did sort else. of help with those orcs. We're another yeah. war. We're just any other war band. So my steel is horse. It's not like he just Come said. Come on, like, enough with the horse shitting. It's not like he just went he checked the local registry of deeds or some shit like that. I mean, look, hey man, horses are expensive, and I need one eventually. Okay. Oh, you're you're, you're going for you're going for war man. Nightman, but yes. Nightmare. <laughs> what is a knight but a warman? Stop. Okay, so he's bought our story. Well, you didn't technically light him. Well, we That's asked him. We, we did. We did sort of. I mean, I said we had nothing to do with Vanni, which isn't. So, yeah, which isn't true. We did. But he doesn't need to. Yeah, he kind of bought his story. And he, he continues to talk about like how amazing his lord is. And we continue to listen. I, oh, is, it, is this like my god is an awesome god, or his his liege is an he's awesome liege? He's not evangelizing, he's trying to sell us on a business opportunity. Yeah, he's trying to sell you Basically. a business opportunity. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? Like I do every other uh, business bitch I get. Control, alt, move along. Cause we'll give him. No, you know what better yet? We'll give him a gomless look. I'm gonna look like the most hazy peasant ever. <laughs> Not gonna be hard. This is good. You will earn a pat on the head from Vimes later. Okay. <laughs> You're treating him like a puppy. Well, look. I mean, it, it's Gosh. Discord. Gosh. He says, he says things that gets us in trouble. <laughs> Gosh, mister, that's all very nice and all, but we gotta get on going down to see if we can get, earn some money for some feed, sir. Good fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I see I'm talking to the brains of the operation. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone know? <laughs> So, I, I, I will not push. Everyone is entitled to their own choices in life. So. Did you got any business cards or something, something like that? Please, please. Please. <laughs> please. Please. He, he's please. Gonna, he'll kind of, like, move over, bring his horse over to the edges, and then kind of, like, he'll sort it out, give it some food, and then, like, turn it into his tent for the night. Boy, he has it. He has a tent. He's got a fancy tent. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a tent. Why don't we have a tent? You didn't yeah. buy a tent. You can't afford a tent. Yeah, we're idiots. We don't even have a tent. <laughs> we do have two cards to sleep on. Yeah, we've no. got two cards. We could either sleep on or under those. Just under, yeah. Alright, anything you want to do? Steal the horse. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've probably got a couple hours in us before we have to actually make camp. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, well, no, like, what are we it was do, getting though? quite late. We'll exchange stories, yeah. you know. Johan and yeah. the group is gonna are gonna exchange stories about what <laughs> happened. Yeah, and Johan is now he's perfectly knowledgeable about everything the party has done before. You're you're fu you're well, you're funny. Except for the part where we are now working for what's his face. For Von Yo. For Need. Yeah. Is Johan working for uh, Lagrange or? No, yes. I'm just I'm just traveling. Oh, okay, okay so but we're still going to take wise. that chance. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Uh, Johan does not know that you work for Von Need. This hmm. is his. This is his tent. Nice square tent. Okay. What the? <laughs> I don't know. All I see is two YDS. That was two That's on the, on the scrub, scrub road map. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, yeah I suppose we all of, turn in. This is just a little bit of character introduction for my own character, you know. You will, you will learn that uh, Johan ran away from the Empire after since he was a temp, <laughs> since, since he was a temple guardian of a temp of a temple of Sigmar. 
one night some thieves broke in and stole all the donation <coughs> money using the chief guard's key. So of course, uh, the idiot actually somehow either lost his key or someone stole it off him, but because he was on the inn with the high priest, he was able to pawn off uh, the entire situation that it was the fault of the guards. So, Johan taking great offense to it, uh, having been chased out of the temple, and no one uh, taking his key, he returned to the temple and trashed the chief uh, guard's uh, attack quarter with his warhammer, and then ran away, so he doesn't go to jail. And now he's in the border princess, knowing that if he were to return to his hometown, or at least the city where he was, he would be, <laughs> I don't know, maybe even burned as a heretic, who knows, these people. Uh, and he's trying to he's trying to find his uh, way around in the world, place, money, women, maybe even a place to settle down. Well, we he Second shouldn't worry. We don't burn people at the stake. Don't no, worry. We haven't, yeah. we haven't yet. Um, <laughs> I don't yeah, have you, a. You haven't caught a live orc yet. <laughs> I dug up a vampire and then I jumped up and down with it with a shovel. It did not <laughs> stick. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it was a non-stick okay. vampire. <laughs> yes. Shame. It would have been nice if you had killed the vampire. Would have been nice, but you know, when you kind of when you're when you're when you're rustling around in a cemetery, or a you know mausoleum. So wh why did you actually dig out the vampire? He's um, a grave robber. No, I, not a grave robber. I am a I am a waste leftover repos repossessionist. He robs graves. Johan is going to sigh deeply and cover his face with a hand. He's hey, making a decision to stay with you. Rob, it's okay. He's, he, he's a reformed grave robber. Ah, and I okay. Just need... uh, and I'm alright. That's good. That's good. <laughs> well, you know, just after you know, you you, you kind of lose contact with all your uh, with your clients and everything, and no longer have a means of supply. It's always good to start a new start a new walk in life. I've gone back to college. I'm reading books now. Look. Yeah, yeah, that's, books. that's great. That's how great. To... <laughs> you, see, you see the title is How to Rob Graves. How no, to read. Thing for the, for the one, is, one is engineering, one is how to read. <laughs> yeah, you've gotten, to up, you've gotten up to B so far. Right, right. Okay, very, very good. Introductions were had all around, and everyone actually... What was Mo Mokin, what was your reason for doing your stuff? Yeah. Hmm, question. Um, to be determined later? <laughs> I thought, like, is that, like, the original idea was to try and find, uh, try and find a runesmith to learn mm -hmm. under. Which uh, you had to do in the Borderlands for some reason. Uh, well, because he was, is he... Well, he's one of those weird dwarfs who didn't want to do exactly what his clan assigned him to do. Yeah, kind oh, of cultural. Yeah, yeah because weird. like I think t typically you have runesmith families, and they can only come from those. Despite technically any dwarf being able to learn. Yeah, you can't really do anything shameful as a dwarf that does not immediately um, lead to dyeing your hair orange. <laughs> I mean, if you say so. Uh, All right. Fun was passes. had. Stories were exchanged. You are not personally murdered by orcs in the middle of the night. Again. And, and my fortune tracker has been reset. Yep. Yeah. Uh, everyone here. Yeah. I'm Can you use one? Yay. Yay. So anyone who is wounded heals a wound. Oh, I did get wounded, didn't I? Actually, Zebron, could you make a heal check on me? Sure. One heal check coming right up. Heal, heal, heal. I've made a rat cart, by the way. I hope you've noticed. I saw. Nope. Damn it, Zebron. It's a 50 50 chance, and I get it about a third that, of the time. Zebron, can you, like, can you can you patch my, my character back together? I still have, like, three wounds. How are you still hurt? Because he didn't heal all the way last time. Yay! Uh -huh. Yay! I am uninjured for, for for the for the first time in this campaign. That's a lie. You didn't start the campaign injured. You've just been yeah. injured since then. <laughs> no, he came into the game with one wound off. Why? Who knows? 
He slammed his foot in the door. <laughs> Alright, so, morning comes and Herman gets up and begins to, um, like, ready his horse. Can I have a minus 10 perception check of people? Uh, sure. Don't want to, but sure. Um, are we looking for something because we have skills? I have perception trained. It's I got just... three degrees of success. Oh, I would have succeeded if hey, so I I only got two, but I got... Yeah. All right, well, so... Someone noticed something. Fun off yeah. into, and they'll notice that he didn't actually take the um, kind of barding off his horse at night. He just kind of like parked it in a corner and left it, which is fairly unusual. Most people tend to take the armor off the horse at night. Can we have a closer look at this horse? If you like, um, say Vimes, Vimes brings him breakfast, and the path he takes goes near the horse. Yeah, I'm not gonna say no to horse looking. <laughs> okay. What do I see hey, about this you horse? Roll an animal care test for this to see, or what? I have that. Why? An animal. You're looking at an animal. What do you know about animals? Well, I did manage to tame this rat. Okay, I guess you know more about animals than we do. Well, okay, I should I should clarify. I tamed this rat on the third attempt just before I was about to bite my throat. You don't know that. And I you. helped. Yes, you helped. The rat tries to play. Everything was going perfect. Okay, so the rat tries to playfully bite your throat up. off. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens every morning. <laughs> How are you doing thing. today, Squeakums? Okay. <laughs> 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 um, maybe a perception check, just straight perception. Okay. Hey. Yeah, this horse looks a bit odd to proportions. Like how? Um, it don't really. It quite. Hmm. It's kind of hard to say. It's kind of. It just doesn't you know seem to be. Of this horse, do you? No, it doesn't seem to be standing right. Too many legs, not enough legs. It's kind of, well, it's got all the legs, but it's just kind of like. <laughs> It doesn't look a quite natural position for a horse. Can I actually see okay, a horse? What's under wrong with the, the horse, arm? Gray? Hmm? Yeah, can I actually see a horse under the armor, or is it just all arm? You can see yeah, like hooves and a horse's face. Well, I'm gonna do a mate animal care. Uh, so Are you gonna get close to the horse? Because you can't. I feel like I'm going to regret it, but yes. Yeah. It will probably not kill you with a single hit. So yes, say yes. Herman, Herman, can I oh, shout? Uh, can I throw a perception as well, or is yeah. it just? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just. Go ahead. I'm just Ray, is, is there no point in? Is there no point in throwing perception? You know what? We can just leave this horse as it is and just go. Well, no. shit. Uh, good job. Oh. Sorry. The horse kind of looks you straight in the eyes, and at that it's point you realize point. that they're human eyes. What? They're human eyes. The horse kind of stands up, like on a back, on two legs. Shout, brother, uh, we discovered. What? 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 Brother, is we that, discovered. Is, is that two people hiding as a horse, masquerading as a horse? No. Or is that a, it, or is that a beast? No, it's, it's or is it a minotaur? It's, worse. it's a beast. No, no. it's so no. much worse. <laughs> what is it? I actually don't know. It's, it's a beast. A uh, okay, so yes, so we have an entire faction that has, as it were, entire faction, or at least the leadership of that faction, that has possibly fallen to chaos. Horseman. <laughs> it's a uh. horseman. <laughs> Quite literally. It is. Oh, not a shit. Um, it's a good, How did we not spot the that, that it, thing that's, yesterday? Yeah, because it's covered in arm. It's covered in armor and like those um, long kind of cloth things. Which it's kind of Look, just it was, thrown off it as it stands. <laughs> oh. Okay, oh. I'm just going to start the combat by throwing can the breakfast. Can I get? Do we, do we do a willpower check right now, Gray? This is definitely going to be a fear check because this is not normal. I failed it. It's just a freaky horse. Come on, guys. <coughs> I can't on fear checks. 